He's dead, apparently. Dexter, Homeland, Prison Break, The X-Files, which heavily inspired this show, by the way, and How I Met Your Mother. Hey guys, so this is my speculation on what's going to happen in season 13 of Supernatural. None of you are thinking that's a little bit odd. That's a little bit strange that we are at a number one and a number three put together for a television show about two guys hunting monsters. I love Supernatural. I am a massive fan of it from season one to season five. It was a huge pillar of my life. I had a massive amount of fan memorabilia. I dressed up as Dean. I have the leather jacket. I got that for my mom. I had his denim jacket. My music tastes were inspired by this show. This show was through my younger years of high school leading into post-secondary. So this show has been with me through a lot of things and it's still going and yet some of you don't seem to see a reason for that being bad. It needs to end. I did a video two years ago talking about how the Supernatural show does need to end, and it is even more paramount than ever. The season 12 finale was insulting. For the fact that some of you said that it was good, or the best, as some said, is absolutely insane. It is asinine, ridiculous, stupid fan love. And I hate to say that because I am a fan. And now you may say, well, you can't be a fan because you're talking negatively about it. No, a fan can still like a show and be critical of it. That is what you call a good fan who doesn't want a show to shit all over itself. And that is what Supernatural is doing. If any of you actually thought that the writing in Season 12's finale was anywhere near that of decent, you are fucking kidding yourself. It was a fucking fucking train wreck. You kill off two main characters, and yes, characters, one of them through a completely unbuilt up and devoid of meaning self-sacrifice, and the other because he went through a door, turned around, and then came out and stood there like a twat. So this is why this needs to end. This season, season 13, is gonna be rehashed of season 11. A unknown entity with untold power and the brothers have to decide what to do with it. And it could be evil, it could be bad. But then we also have to deal with the bullshit storyline of Lucifer and Mary being caught on the other side of the dimension. Mary, by the way, who punched Lucifer through a door. Some of you were like, oh, well, she had, you know, the fisticuffs. She could have taken him out. Fucking bullshit. The angel of death, the architect of the apocalypse, the bringer of destruction and death was beaten by a 50 year old woman with holy ring gauntlets? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? If you are still here watching this and fuming at me, go ahead and actually sit and think about it. This show has no relevance. These characters do not die. I don't care if Crowley's gone, because if he was, that's a terrible fucking send-off, and Mark Shepard deserves something far better if he actually is dead. Castiel, fuck that, he's not dead. Sam and Dean have died and come back so many times that their plight means nothing anymore. The only thing that you can threaten is the destruction of the universe, is which is what they did in the previous season. Not like this fucking season where we just had a bunch of stupid little British guys running around going, Ooh, I'm British, better kill the Americans. This show has nothing left. If they actually can pull something out of their ass and try to pull off a season 14, I will fucking stop. There are some people who say that I should keep on reviewing this show, and I am tempted. I have had a few parts in the past that have made me not want to. Half of season 10 I did not watch live. The same happened for season 7 and a bit of season 8. But I, I don't know if I can. I can't stand by and watch one of my favorite shows be destroyed by the people who are a part of it. 
Jensen and Jared, they're fine with staying on it because they're producers. They make decent money doing what they do. And hey, they, sure, they love going to these cons. The cons are part of fundraisers and parts to help the community. That's great. You guys can do that with the show being over. You don't need to drag this shit through the dirt anymore. I am freaking serious. Jensen Ackles, who actually was trying his hand at directing a few episodes, I don't even know if he directed one in the last season. When he was trying to direct some episodes, I was like, okay, I can see why he's doing that. He's trying to live up to something to go on and do something else. No, Jared Pagalecki basically sleepwalks through every scene he's in now. Jensen Ackles is trying to become Batman, and that's it. Eric Kripke probably has nothing to do with this show anymore. He literally just rings in the checks. I like this show, but it is basically a parody of itself now. It doesn't take itself seriously. It tries to give us it tries to give us these storylines that don't make any sort of real threat or any sort of impact on the characters. They have gone through everything. The last episode that had emotional depth was the one where Dean was losing his memory. And that's because Sam actually had to try and act and Jensen actually put on a good performance. This is basically Jensen's ride now. And Jared just sits along for the ride to make his paycheck along the way. I hate to be the bringer of bad news. I hate to be the one to tell you the truth. But this show should end. The only thing I can see coming from season 13 is that it's just going to be a rehash of Eleven. Sure, the Nephilim is an interesting character idea. It's a child with dark and untold powers and a unknown direction in which it's going. Hmm, is this sounding fucking familiar? It is going to be something we have seen and it's going to kind of disappoint us in the end. So that is why I feel that season 13 should be the last freaking season. Mainly because this show needs to end. I made a comment when I was talking about my season review and I pointed out there's two different types of fans. There are fans who have binge watched the show on Netflix or on the internet and they have just gone from season one all the way up until the recent season in the span of a year or a few months. You are not the true fans. I hate to say that, but you don't understand what I'm talking about if you've just binge watched it. You don't get the degradation of how the show has gone. I started watching this show when I was 15 years old. That was, that was 12 years ago. I have seen throughout the years, the show slightly begin to shit on itself after season five. Season 11 was a high point. It was actually something that I did not think the show could pull off, but now it's just crapped all over itself again. Season 12 is one of the worst seasons of the show. It is just, just above season 7, and season 7 was shit. So the fact that if any of you are still watching this video, comment below and talk about how you're angry with me, about how you feel that I'm not a true fan. But then actually think about it. Dexter, Homeland, Prison Break, The X-Files, which heavily inspired this show, by the way, and How I Met Your Mother. All great shows that were intended to end much earlier than they were supposed to, but then were dragged on because of the producers thought that's what the fans wanted. The fans got what they got, and the show turned to shit. All these are shows that were dragged out far too long. Homeland's actually okay still, but... It is a repeating process. It needs to end, guys. This show needs to end before it becomes a How I Met Your Mother series finale. Because I know how you like that. See you guys later.